Hey guys, um, so I'm kind of starting over with the videos. This is probably going to be the first video I post on our channel. I have no clue what I'm doing. And i um, just going to tell you a little bit about what's going on in our life. I guess uh, just things that we encounter in places that we camp. We are, uh, it's me, my wife, our eight-year-old son. We have a cat and one dog. We're hoping to make um, maybe about a year, eight months to a year trip. And um, we are about two months in to the trip. Uh, so far, so good. The only problem is I've got videos that I can't get uploaded yet. So there may be some random uh, past videos that I'll throw in as we go. So, um, yeah, uh, let me take you around. I'll show you where we're at now, where we're camping. I'll introduce you to the dog. Kai. This is Kai. She likes to get into everything and get in trouble. But she travels really good. So, we are here in the Deer Lodge National Forest. Um, most of the signs will say Beaverhead Deer Lodge National Forest, but the section that we're in is the east uh, section of the Deer Lodge National Forest. So I'm gonna spin the camera around and just show you. Uh, we found a great site. This is all dispersed camping. I believe it's a 16 day stay limit and I backed the trailer down the hill there was a couple leaving the Sunday that we showed up and um, I just asked them if they were coming back later that day I didn't want to take their spot and they said nope you can have it it's a great spot and they were absolutely right there's a uh, rocks all over the place these beautiful huge trees couple fire rings here and I mean the hill just drops off right here so we're pretty much on this little peninsula that goes around backside of the trailer drops off just where my fingers pointing all the way around this area is uh, well used by dirt bikes four-wheelers side-by-sides there's great trail systems out here there's one here that passes kind of through um, on the weekends, this place is busy. Um, people, in fact, if I make this video without um, any noise in the background from a side-by-side -side or a dirt bike, I would be surprised. So, But it's beautiful. It's worth it. Most everybody, about 9 o'clock at night, um, this time of the year at 9 o'clock, you can still see there's plenty of daylight left. And... Um, Usually about nine, everybody starts headed back to camp and just settling down for the night. So we haven't had any problems, but just walking you up the road here. The main road coming in is up here. And um, it heads up to a place called uh, Delmo Lake. So if you make it, or if you take the main road all the way in, you can actually go camp at Delmo Lake. I think it's $15 a night, I believe. Um, it's all just primitive camping. It's big enough for up to like a 32 foot trailer. Anything bigger than that may not make the turnaround at the end. Um, I think it's $16 a night. There's a vault toilet there. There's a little boat launch for like kayaks and stuff beautiful little lake and um, some of the sites are pull throughs and some of them are just uh, back end sites we actually went down there and checked it out it's a beautiful little campground Kai come come she likes to chase the birds so anyways I'll spin it back around I had to actually pull up here 
back in back down the road we've got a 31 foot uh, travel trailer so decent decent size trailer to back down a hill but it's totally worth it we've been here for almost a week now and we got a really nice little spot off the road away from some of the traffic um, cell service so we have Verizon on our phones and where we're sitting at here we only have like one bar it's we can call just about anybody we want to but he doesn't really want to it's really slow to check emails and uh, if you try to video I mean uh, watch YouTube or something like that it would be may not work it may be pretty slow um, we also have T-Mobile uh, home internet the little tower the little box it's actually getting like two bars of service here and it's enough to watch videos and stuff like that so it's not too bad um, if you head just two miles back out towards the highway we get pretty good Verizon service so anywhere it, it's it's kind of hit and miss as you come in the road the further down the road off the freeway um, service gets worse the closer you get to the freeway the better it gets and it's just because of the mountains coming from town this place is about 25 20 or 25 minutes uh, from Butte, Montana, and Butte pretty much it's a nice little town. It's got everything you need. There's Ace Hardware, uh, there's a free dump station there in town. You have to go somewhere else to get fresh water, they don't have uh, water there, but you can dump for free, throw your trash away for free. Um, they have um, a nice safe way to shop at grocery store. There's a good Walmart there. Um, so pretty much if you need anything it's here uh, but yeah as far as just the area it's just beautiful out here so it's kind of hard to beat this uh, as a free campground so got the hammock set up over here in the shade but uh yeah so anyways just want to kind of start over on the video see if I can't get some stuff start uploading I'm gonna try and post often as I can uh, which is really uh, just me making excuses because we're doing absolutely nothing we're not working we're just doing pretty much whatever we want whenever we want so there's really no excuse for me to uh, post more often videos but that's just the way it goes sometimes there's no service weather days it just depends but yeah if you're thinking about uh coming out to this area definitely check out uh the areas around butte montana delmo lake uh, and this uh deer lodge national forest it's beautiful out here it's hard to beat so this is early to mid june and right now you know i'm from texas so everything feels kind of cold i guess but uh the weather's been perfect it's like 44 degrees at night and about 60 during the day give or take so really can't beat it um one caution coming in when you turn off of uh, i believe that's i-90 uh, there's going to be a turn off for home stake lake and that's going to be the road that's coming in and it eventually turns into delmo lake road that road because of the four-wheelers and the side by sides uh, anytime the road's wet and they pass over that wet area is really fast you're pulling you know dirt and gravel out of the out of the road itself so there's a lot of little potholes in places and then you'll run um you know a quarter of a mile and just like smooth gravel the road itself is great it's solid it could be raining and it doesn't matter any two-wheel drive uh vans motorhomes you can get anything down the road 
just take it slow when you come in it's just bumpy it's it's not hard to get down so you don't need full drive or anything like that to actually get to campsites and as soon as you get off the highway the first half mile in there's two different hillsides there or hills um, on the top where a lot of people just pull in there and camp so and again it gets really busy on the weekends uh, in the summer because there's a lot of uh, local people that come out that really get to come out and enjoy uh, just riding around there's a lot of great trails out here so if you have a dirt bike or something like that this would be an awesome place to come hang out i mean the I, there's probably 40 to 60 miles if i just guess just from looking at the maps of trails all over the place even crossing the same road uh, when you cross over I-90 to the other side, there's just more roads and trails over there. So, um, yeah, that's about it, guys. Uh, just a little quick info, a little video of where we're at. So if you have any questions, just hit me in the comments. I'm learning. Just give me a little time, and I'll try to get back to you. Anything y'all need to know that might help y'all out in your travels, that's what it's here for. So I'll just pass on a little knowledge and maybe help somebody else out. All right, later.